Yo, 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 what's good with you guys? Your boy Trey Brew back with a very, very quick video. Uh, doing this on request from one of the homies who watches uh, YouTube tutorials and a couple other people. <clears throat> and this is going to be based on uh, plugin organizing. So, a lot of people have been seeing the way I got my plugins organized. So, when I pull them up, you know, I got them in specific categories. Uh, it's real simple. Uh, Logic has a built in thing called the plugin manager, and uh, Ableton has one too. So, I'm going to do videos on both of them, but this is the Logic video. Uh, so, what you want to do is come up here to preferences. You want to click on the Logic Pro at the top corner next to the Apple logo. You can't see it right now, but it's up there. Uh, go to preferences, plugin manager, boom. And the way I would do it is you get grab your most used plugins and put them inside of a a, a category just like this. I want to make a folder for my master plugin, so you press the plus marker right here and it'll make you a new folder. And I'm going to name this master. Boom. So now I got a master folder. And I'm gonna go drag in all uh, my isotope stuff. So I got, I got a lot of isotope. I'm gonna do those on there. Dynamic EQ, dynamics, equalizer, exciter. I think you think you got to do everything one by one. I'm not sure though. So I'm gonna try that now. Oh yeah, you don't have to do everything one by one. So now all of those are in master, right? So then there's a couple more I want to use. Oxford. It's Oxford, that was Oxide. Okay, hold on, let me go put it back though. Cause I do need it in my folder, I got it in. SSLG comp. And that's pretty much it. So then when you go to done, boom, it'll, it'll uh, register them. And now when you go through, you got your separate folder, so you got your EQ with your fab filter in there, your favorites with your auto tune in there, your filters, mastering, ozone nine, SSL comp, UAD oxide tape. So, you know, it's real simple fix, uh, straightforward, and that way you guys can kind of make your workflow go a little bit better. Uh, I might actually drop some templates and stuff real soon. So if you guys would be interested in anything like that, you know, leave a comment for presets and templates that kind of sound like the fav your favorite artist's work. And now they'll be all stock plugins. So that way you guys can just literally drop a template in and record and go from there without having to worry about, oh, I don't have this plugin or I don't have that. You know, you could do it straight within Logic with all stock stuff. That way you'll kind of be getting a simulated version of my mixing so yeah man that's it for today uh like comment subscribe let me know what you think let me know what new content i could bring for you guys and i'm going to be uh doing uh some new stuff here real soon so yeah peace out man